oh my gosh, fall for the sky, cause I'm Wario, except I'm not Wario, I'm through Mario Brother, welcome back to Let's Play Wario World, though. Eh, uh, yeah, that is a very weird intro with much voice crackage at its best. Welcome to Let's Play Wario World in the last part in the last stage, whatever. We completed Horror Manor, and in this part, if you have a fear of clowns, I advise you don't avert your eyes because Wario is so sexy. But we are going into the big top, into the wonky circus, where we finally get enemies that aren't dinosaurs. Yay, clowns. Beat up all the little clown kids. And get lots of money. Ooh. Now, as I said before, Look at the clown bullets, this game is so wacky and zany and fun and crazy. Um, this is where the difficulty of the game really starts to get noticeable. Um, like, there aren't as many garlic... Aww. Oh, there aren't as many garlic dispensers in this, um, stage, and plus you might have to do some backtracking for treasures and stuff, plus they're a little bit harder to find now. Thank you for disproving my point by giving me a statue, a trapdoor, and a treasure ex exactly next to each other, exactly when I say that. But yeah, this is actually where the game kind of starts to have really, 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 really kind of difficult gameplay. So. But this trapdoor, once again, mi misproving, disproving me. Misproving, I have a question. Ha ha ha, what a pun, what a pun. That was very punny. Ah, <laughs> puns are the funniest thing ever. And it's funny because they usually make people who don't appreciate puns very angry when you say them and you're like, hey dude, it's just my form of humor. You got a problem with me? Huh? <laughs> you wanna say that to my face? <laughs> oh, wait, you already did say that to my face. Huh? <laughs> you got a problem, man? <laughs> but yeah. I really, really love puns. In fact, um, I made a script on... How are you supposed to get across... Oh, I can use those glue globs over there. Silly me. <laughs> I made a script in a program called MIRC in a programming language called MSL dedicated to puns. Um, I just went on the internet and found a bunch of different puns. And... Um, compiled them all together in a script, and whenever you typed the word pun, uh, the program would give you a random pun, and I had like a million friggin' puns, and it was the funniest thing ever. And I did the same thing with Chuck Norris jokes, too. So I am officially the coolest person in the world. It's the end of the world as we know it, and Wario doesn't care. Well, he'd probably care if his treasure got destroyed. We should already do so let's beat up this diamond so we can get back the actual diamond so we can find the black jewel so we can get the key, blah, 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 I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, this is the last of the diamond, guys. The red one just fires a really easy to dodge laser. Yellow, yellow one, I think? Yeah, yellow fires a... Where'd he go? A really easy to dodge um, bullet laser, and blue fires homing lasers. The only real threatening one is blue. But, yeah. Come on, spawn clowns. I need thy faces to pummel into the ground. I'm gonna take a bird with me. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but, yeah, I love puns. Puns are so hilarious. What did. What is the most important organ on a mailman? Deliver. What is a cow's favorite drink? Milk. How do you unlock a piano? With its keys. <laughs> uh, he's so funny. Oh my god, Sir Mario Brother, you're so funny. You should do stand up comedy one of these days because. Oh, you're so funny. Uh, speaking of funniness, I was looking through random YouTube channels the other day. And you know how people make those ASCII artwork drawings? Some of them say like subscribe. Some of them, some of them are like, if you love a person, put this on your page or something. Well, I saw one that said, put this on your page, 
If you've ever pull, pulled on a door that said PUSH in gigantic bold letters. Ah, <laughs> oh, so funny. And I only, I've only seen one of them in my entire YouTube, like, career. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'll have to put that on my page one of these days if I can find that channel again. Then again, it was not really the best ASCII art ever. Do you, do you say it like a word? Like you say GIF or... I don't know. ASCII... A a a a I don't know. <sighs> times. Times, times. Whoops. That was bad. That was very, very bad indeed. So, I'm um, sorry I haven't been updating. Yes, I always apologize for this. I'm so ashamed of myself. I, I, I'm embarrassed, guys. I'm a bad let play. But, um, I am sorry for not updating because I have been editing some things that you guys will be seeing in the near future. Hopefully right after this project is done. And why did that bomb not blow up? Nobody knows who me couldn't be. Who didn't? blow up the bomb from the bomb jar! I don't know. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow, almost forgot my coins. So you play bowling there and you get to bomb some Dodongos. I don't know. But, yeah, you throw bombs at bowling pins. I don't know why you would throw a bomb at a bowling pin, but hey, that's Wario for you. Always get an overkill with his sexiness. O over sexiness, I don't know. Eh. Okay, now here, you're just gonna want to dash repeatedly, so you can get away from those elephants. I felt like knocking down those bowling pins, because the elephants don't deserve to do that, frankly. Now here is a ridiculously easy challenge. Okay, climb up the ladder, right? Boing. Uh, depth perception! Okay. Let's try doing it from the side. And there you go, the end. <laughs> yeah. Most of those small room challenges are, like, super easy. Incidentally, I played a little bit of Super Mario Sunshine yesterday. I got 44 shines without getting bored, and... It's actually pretty darn... Pretty darn fun. I almost went and said that without even meaning to. Yeah, you know, give me some garlic. Haven't had it in a while. Except I probably have in this episode, and I just don't remember it. Anyway, go down there, hit that button... But yeah, I was playing Super Mario Sunshine, and those secret, um, the secret of the dirty rake or lake or place or thing, they're harder than I remember them being. Come on, wake up! Anyway, here we have another, um, area exclusive enemy. This is the caged lion, and I don't understand how can they possibly be living if their eyes are that far apart, and only their arms stick out that far, but whatever. Oh, great, this challenge. I hate this one. Here, do a corkscrew... Um, here, do a corkscrew conk, and you'll almost always get on that thing. Keyword, almost. Now, this second thing is easier to time, because it's coming at you instead of going away from you. And there you go. Grab the crystal, and let's a go. Hey, this is not Mario. Yeah, I don't know. The only Mario voice... I can kind of do is like Waluigi. Anyway, here's another area exclusive enemy. There, there are these snake things. If you attack them twice, okay, that was weird. Normally, if you attack them twice, they'll turn invincible and try to bite you. And do we have everything? No, we do not. Oh god, I don't want to do a second take of this. Oh, I know where it is. I didn't. I don't have to backtrack far. It is. Go ahead and climb up this rope. I lose my train of thought because I'm talking at the same time. It is right there. Right? Uh huh. Yep. Alright, let's go. Oh, bad idea. Step in front of the missiles, Wario. Very, very intelligent of you. Whoa. Very intelligent, dude. Now, before you go here, this is another point of no return. Just like in the last level, we're getting more of these lately. But before you go there, make sure you have everything that you want and or need. And we get another crystal battle. Yay. There was much rejoicing. There was so much rejoicing, you wouldn't even believe it. 